The capture of the Chemin des Dames by the French in 1917, also known as the Nivelle Offensive, was a significant military operation during World War I. This battle was part of a larger French strategy aimed at breaking through German defenses on the Western Front and was named after General Robert Nivelle, who devised the plan. The Chemin des Dames Ridge, located in the Aisne department of northern France, had been held by the Germans since September 1914. The area was strategically important due to its elevated position, which provided a vantage point over the surrounding terrain. General Nivelle, who had succeeded General Joffre as the French commander-in-chief, believed that a decisive breakthrough on this front could lead to a rapid end to the war. He planned a large-scale offensive, promising to achieve this within 48 hours with minimal casualties. To prepare for the assault, the French amassed a significant force of around 1.2 million men, supported by extensive artillery, including over 7,000 guns. The plan involved a massive bombardment to destroy German defences, followed by a swift infantry advance. The offensive began on April 16, 1917, with the French artillery unleashing a tremendous barrage on German positions. Despite the intense bombardment, many German fortifications remained intact due to their deep bunkers and strong defensive lines. When the French infantry advanced, they faced fierce resistance. The terrain of the Chemin des Dames posed significant challenges for the French troops. The ridge was difficult to navigate, and the Germans had fortified their positions with barbed wire, machine guns, and artillery. The French soldiers, burdened by heavy equipment, struggled to make progress. The weather also played a detrimental role, with rain turning the battlefield into a muddy quagmire. As the days passed, it became evident that the Nivelle Offensive was not achieving its objectives. The French forces suffered heavy casualties, with estimates ranging from 120,000 to 187,000 men. The anticipated breakthrough did not materialize, and the German defenses held firm. The high casualties and the perceived futility of the offensive led to a severe decline in French troop morale. By late April and May 1917, widespread mutinies broke out among the French soldiers. They refused to undertake further offensives and demanded better conditions. Although these mutinies were eventually suppressed, they had a profound impact on the French army's effectiveness. The failure of the Nivelle offensive led to a significant command shake-up. General Nivelle was replaced by General Philippe Pétain, who implemented reforms to restore morale and improve living conditions for the troops. Pétain adopted a more cautious strategy, focusing on defence and limited, well-prepared offensives rather than large-scale attacks. The capture of the Chemin des Dames did not achieve its intended strategic breakthrough. However, it did lead to some tactical gains, as the French managed to capture certain sections of the ridge over time. The operation also highlighted the difficulties of trench warfare and the challenge of overcoming well-entrenched defences. In the broader context of World War I, the Nivelle Offensive and the events at the Chemin des Dames underscored the limitations of traditional offensive tactics against fortified positions. It influenced subsequent Allied strategies, contributing to a shift towards more coordinated and multifaceted operations, which eventually led to the successful offensives in 1918. The capture of the Chemin des Dames by the French in 1917 remains a notable episode in World War I history. It exemplifies the challenges and human cost of trench warfare and the impact of leadership decisions on the morale and effectiveness of military forces. Despite its failure to achieve a decisive breakthrough, the operation had significant consequences for the French army and influenced the conduct of the war in its later stages.